Alright guys, now we're going to go from a hall system converting to a lowering system. We have my 3 to 1 inline, I'm going to move over to my brake bar rack. Again, we have our RPM setup, rack, pulley, and a mariner's hitch. Uh, this could also be replaced with a hokey hitch. In these systems, we're using uh, press support. If you don't want to be using triple wrap presses, you'll also be using some kind of a, a grab system. Start just by disconnecting my hall system. Right now the entire load is being um, held by this progress capture. Because I've used two carabiners at the end of the load releasing hitch, I can remove this nice and easily and get it out of my way. Now, if I start feeding the main line into my brake bar rack, I'm going to tie it off to secure it. At this point, I have to lengthen this part of the system in order to load the rack um, completely. I open up the mariner's hitch and notice that I keep the carabiner on the end of the webbing so that the carabiner cannot pull all the way through the system. Because this isn't a very heavy load, I know for a fact that I have to unwrap it almost completely before it will start to move. On with the load releasing hitch. At this point now, the weight of the system is on the rack and not on the load releasing hitch. I can remove this. And remove the process. If this operation was going to continue, I would automatically replace this load releasing hitch with another one uh, that was already assembled correctly, or I would set, pass this off to another team member for them to start uh, to, to reset it and rebuild it. At this point now I can open up my rack and I can start to lower the system.